What's up guys, my name's Ike, I'm a professional filmmaker and photographer and today I'm going to be showing you how I edit a few of my landscape photos using some of the AI powered tools in Luminar Neo. Let's jump straight into it. Alright, so this first photo we're going to edit is a photo that I took on a recent trip down to Esperance which is on the south coast of Western Australia. Alright, so for this image, I feel like we can actually use pretty much all of this panel here in the landscape AI tools. Water enhancer here and we're just going to quick play this so you can see quite quickly, obviously you can overdo it like anything. Kind of so you want to dial that back, but it's, it's really bringing a nice consistent blue across the water, which I love. So we're going to just go just a little here, not too much. Again, we'll have a play with this, the blue. Just pull it back and forth until it's a point where we're happy with it. We're wanting the water to be more blue than green because the water down there is honestly the most crazy blue you've ever seen in your life. So really want to carry that through in the image, but sometimes the camera doesn't capture that. Definitely bring up the brightness here. This is looking really nice to lighten the water up here. I think we will introduce a bit of contrast as well. And as you can see, very subtle changes here, but it's just made that water pop that little bit more, which is really nice. Next, we're going to jump into the landscape tool here. So what's that shot at sunrise? Obviously, you can tell, but it doesn't look very golden. I want to make this more of it like a golden. So we're just going to slide this gold now, slide it up. And as you can see, that's quite a nice effect here. I would say probably a little too saturated if we take it that far. So again, we're going to keep this subtle, probably somewhere in the middle around 30, 40 here. It's looking quite nice. We're getting a bit of glow from the sun. Water and the blues are really popping, but it's not too unrealistic. Now from there, we're going to jump over into the atmosphere. We're going to add a bit of haze. With our masking here, we're going to go with the radial gradient and we're just going to pull that from our sun here and out across the image and make a nice glow from the sun and then we'll jump into our adjustments here and we'll just have a play around I think here I'm going to pretty well max out a lot of these quite liking this sort of look here it's creating a nice soft look across the beach like there's a bit of kind of haze coming off the water there which is really nice now, jump across into the Twilight Enhancer. We've already had a play with the gold now look here, but I feel we could possibly pull this a bit more. So we're going to check the golden preset on. Now, I'd say this has probably gone too far here. We'll just dial this back all the way, and then we'll just slowly introduce it. I think at about this point here, it's looking really nice. I'm just going to bring my exposure to a nice little midpoint there. And let's just have a quick little before and after now. You can see, subtle, but that's all you need. You don't need a lot. So we're already starting to look a lot nicer here. I'm, I'm really liking this. So next thing is maybe we'll add a bit of sun rays. It's look really nice. So if you've got the sun just peeking through the corner here, but it'd be nice to really enhance that and bring that out. So it's going to go place sun center. And we're just going to move that just off to the top corner there. And we're just going to have a play with the amount here. Obviously, again, pull it to the extreme, pull it back, and then just dial it to the point where you're thinking it's looking natural, but creating that nice look. So for me, I'm thinking pretty subtle just a little but right there looks quite nice maybe pull up that overall look there you can see we're getting a nice glow over that whole corner which i'm really liking i'm going to increase the length out here so it's just fully soft out through the image that's a quick play on the landscape panel of this one you can see is a before and after purely just using the ai tools here and we've gone from this to this which Already pretty happy with, but now to make a few minor adjustments back in the develop panel. So we're going to jump in here, we're going to jump into our light and just overall bring up the exposure a bit. Uh, we'll drop down our highlights a little to preserve those highlights in the corner there with the, the, where the sun is, so we don't make that too bright. Uh, we'll continue to bring up the exposure, really bright and colourful, but still giving that nice soft golden hour look. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that as an edit. So we've gone from this to this in short time using the AI tools in Luminar Neo. All right, that's it from me. I hope you guys got something out of this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, leave us a comment and let us know what I missed and hit that subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more videos coming up. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.